Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am here with a game that I've been asked to take a look at. Uh, I was given a free key to this Fishing North Atlantic. Now, as I, you know, as you know, most of my games are fishing based, but I believe this is commercial fishing, much like Fishing Barren Sea. I might even be the same people that created it. But I have not looked at this. I haven't entered it. I haven't done anything with it. So this is officially a first look. So we're going to kind of fumble through this and see what this is all about. And if it may look like something that could be a series or something, we, can, uh, we might be able to make that determination. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and start a new career. So I assume that's where you go with. Uh, we're going to give ourselves our a proper name Bob Jackson <laughs> and yes we are going to start with the tutorial we got fast travel fish gear helper I don't know what poor patrol is let's go ahead and check it because I have a feeling it's things that are going to help us through the game all right let's go ahead and start I'm sure some of those things can be turned off. Okay, so we have this little bitty boat. So welcome to Nova Scotia. You begin your career with a small harpoon boat that you've inherited from your uncle. With such humble beginnings, it will be a long road to becoming one of the legendary mariners of the North Atlantic. Swordfish are best caught from August to October. All fish species in the game can only be fished within its season. Please check the in-game wiki to learn more about their seasons. Well, damn, that's pretty cool. It's accurate. Well, let us not get distracted with dreams of fortune and glory. Let us start with the basics. So we are going to go through the tutorial here. Third person perspective boat control. So you have first and, first and third. That's good. Increased throttle with W. Right? Decrease the throttle with S. So standard stuff. Move the outboard to motor to the steer left with A, E, and now the first person perspective. Yeah, this is usually the way I like to be. Now unlike Baron C, this is kind of a this is kind of a nice boat. <laughs> I mean it really is. I mean I guess for commercial fishermen it's kind of small, but it's pretty snazzy to be honest. Okay, press F to stop driving and move around the deck. Okay. Oh, you have to hold F. Oh, we're still moving too. Hope we don't run into anything. Yeah, this is a tiny boat. I guess you can't get up there. There's not a whole lot of moving around the deck that's involved here. Let's see, strafe left with A. Okay, once you do. Move to the wheelhouse door and use E to open it. Oh, you can go to the mast. Oh, cool. This is awesome. So you can drive from the mast. That's pretty neat. Use the E on the wheel to start driving from the mast. I can't see myself. Damn. Let's take the speed down just a little bit because it's a little on the noisy side. Okay, we're going to increase the throttle. This is the map interface. You can only open this by pressing the M key. Okay. Okay. Using the buttons below, you can set custom waypoints to plot a route. Or you can select locations you previously visited and then fast travel to these locations. Okay. Looks like we got cod, had a mackerel, pollock, 
redfish, silver hake, swordfish, tuna, lobster, snow crab. Oh, cool. We can go lobster hunting. You can either drive to the mark area yourself, or if you want, you can plan a, plot a route and fast travel there automatically. Okay, so let's see. So what are we doing now? <laughs> So we can return by hitting escape. So this is apparently the way we want to go over here. Personal digital assistant. Oh, and you can, oh, I see what you can do. If you find species of fish, you can pick these up and say, there's a red fish. Cool. I like that. That's pretty neat. That's pretty nifty. And this must be the wiki, so you can find out different types of fish and what's, let's see, it said swordfish, this was their August to October, gives you a little bit of background on them, snow crab, that's the big money bringer. Okay, let's go ahead and hit escape. Drive towards a good harpooning spot. Well, it looked like there was one. Wasn't there one marked? Let me check the map again. Yep. Yeah, I think they're trying to lead you along a little bit. So travel to the location marked on the map. Takes you a while to turn this boat around. And there are other boats too, so. I wonder if that's the. Yep, that might actually be our. That is either our destination, or it's another boat, or it's a boy, or it's a girl. <laughs> I mean, it's a boy. <laughs> it might be a boy. So do we want to go there top speed? This is really cool, this mass driving. I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah, I think that's another person's boat. Let's see. Yep. See that? That's the boat. The harpoon spot. Oh, okay. I get it. Yeah, I think I'm get to the Go downstairs and go Oh, I see him. Go E. Oh, stop driving. No, oh, oh, I bet I, how do you get to that? Go downstairs, go to the, how do I get there? Oh, I see. So I gotta, oh, this is cool. This is really cool. Okay, aim towards the swordfish, hold left mouse button until you reach full accuracy. Okay. I suck. Hitting E. Ooh. Okay. 
Wait a minute, I did something wrong. Reel in with E, but be careful. Reeling while the fish is struggling or the line might snap. Okay. Well, so far I'm sucking pretty bad here, guys. This is awesome. <laughs> I love it. This is fun. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. Yeah, this is better than Baron C by far. Of course, I am terrible at this. Let's make sure he gets... Damn. Cannot hit the broad side of a barn, people. That should have hit. I'm sorry, that should have hit. So should that. Oh, focus, huh? That was dead on. Okay. We're learning the controls here. Hmm. Hit it. Okay, we got him. There we go. Return to the wheelhouse, catch a few more swordfish if you want, then press E on the hatch to stop harpooning. Okay. Let's see if we can't get one in. Yeah, you just really gotta wait till they get close. That's all there is to it, guys. See, they are way too far away to accurately hit one. But they are coming this way, so. I can't believe that didn't hit him. That little circle is supposed to be what you aim with, but it's not really as accurate as I wish it would be. Or maybe I'm just not skilled at this enough yet. See, that should have been dead on. Come on. Come on. He's struggling. Says he's struggling again, damn it. Okay, I'm learning. Ooh, well, this must be a big one.
that's two. All right, let's go ahead and return back, guys. So we got to walk over here. So I guess this is how you get in. Head to the marked port where you'll be able to sell a fish you just collected. A mission waypoint has been set on your map. Okay. All right, we sit down. And we go to the map. Aha. And this is what we do. We grab this. Oh, that sucks. So I guess we got to sail that way for the most part. Oh. I don't think I was supposed to do that. There we go. All right. I think we got... So we need to go into Yarmouth. But we're going to need to navigate this a little bit better. Let's see. What... Might be easier to do this in the third person. Oh look, there's our fish. That's pretty cool. This is kind of, this is kind of tricky. A thousand pounds. A thousand pounds. That's a big fish. Slow, huh? What's the speed limit? See, here's our lights. It's like a bottom thing. Gear on boat. No gear is currently on the boat. I can't tell how fast I'm going. Oh, I see it. It's over here. So I can... hard to get the speed adjusted. Too bad you can't have like a trolling motor. I think I'm getting low on gas too. Yeah, I just barely tapped that. Okay, I think I'm getting a good speed. God bless it. Now, is there a way to get there with that? Okay. Yeah, because that's going to take too damn long. There it is. Yarmouth discovered.
real hard to control your speed. Okay, we're going to pull in here. I assume that we want to be over here. Okay, so we get over here to Yarmouth and we dock. Oh, I see. I've got like a little outline there. Yeah, we don't want to crash the boat. That would be bad. That would be bad. All right. Welcome to Yarmouth. All right. Fish tips. Go to the bar in town to get tips on the best spots for fishing. Would you like to sell your fish at Yarmouth? Yes. Good Lord. Price, $5.58 a pound. We've got two of them, 1,000 pounds. $5,000 for two fish. Holy crikeys. There you go. Let's see. Weather, skip time and map. Let's see, the weather is precipitation, wind 62 degrees. Looks like it's going to be relatively nice for the most part. There's our map. Let's check the fish market. Here you can upgrade your gutting knife, binocular, and hook. Here you can buy your bait and bait your long lines. Let's see what you can. You can hire a crew, check your crew house, where you hire a crew or a place. Buy money, repay money. Tips, missions on the and then services, insurance, and rescue services. So this is very similar to Fishing Bear and Sea. But honestly, I think I like the way this feels compared to Fishing Bear and Sea. So there's you get to, there you get your upgrades. Well, gas is something I need badly. Let's go ahead and Oh, it's expensive. Holy crap. Okay, it's already fuel. Full fuel. Oh, we can change. Yeah, let's name this something else. Ah, we gotta be traditional here. Oh wow, you can even... The SS Minnow. <laughs> Paint color. Yeah, we always want it to be red. Alright, our boat's got a name. Let's see. Upgrades. Dismiss. Buy a new boat or sell your old one. Dismiss. Well, let's see if we can go to town. It said if we went to the bar we could find out some tips. Get a little red, redfish. Location of redfish from a week ago. Silver Hake from three days ago. Swordfish from a week ago. That one's free. Let's get the redfish one. And we'll get this one. And we'll get the tuna one. We don't have that much money, so we're not going to do that. Let's see, missions. Uh, let's not take a mission just yet. Let's get our skills up here first. Don't really need a crew. 
Let's see, rescue service. Let's towing. Well, let's let's eh, let's give it a let's give it a chance here first. Okay, general, done that. Fish market. Ah, here we go. This is the equipment we need. So, upgrade your hook to increase the size of all fish caught. So, oak catches. What's five thousand dollars? That's all we've got is an old wooden. Let's see. What about knives? Wooden, plastic, binoculars. Yeah, we're poor, guys. <laughs> we're poor. We are poor, 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 poor. Let's see. So, Silver Hake. Swordfish seems to bring the bet. Oh, no. Tuna. Look at that. Yeah, we definitely want to check out that tuna location if we can. Upgrades, let's see, storage, yeah, we're not even close to getting to this yet. Holy crap, yeah, we're, we're just, we need to get out there and start doing some, some stuff. Deep line fishing, that might be interesting. Oh, let's see what kind of boats they have here, guys. We've got... That's what we've got, some Mickey. Let's see what's available here. We've got the Lenore. That's not really all that huge. The Backstabber. <laughs> the Dexter. Now that's a boat. Oh, crap. So Lenore has a crew. Two. Backstabber has one of two. This one, jeez. It's a major difference in sizes here. The Dexter. That's a 124 foot boat. You can have six crew. And that's for snow crab. And that's a trawler. I see, so you can go out and pick the types of things you want to go after. See, you want to have a coaster if you want to go after snow crab, which is the big money, guys. And there's a Dexter. That's for trawling. And this one's just kind of like what we've got here. General fishing. And this one is for lobster. Okay. I get you now. I get you. Okay. Pretty cool stuff, guys. Oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be a lot of fun, guys. Well, guys, that's our first look at this. I don't think we're going to do anything at this point. This We basically got through the general missions here. I'm going to dismiss all that. I don't know what we could do at this point. Since we've already done what we were supposed to do. Okay, it says you can... If you like to rig the boat for deep lighting fish, you must purchase... Yeah, see, we don't have the money. We're going to have to go out and catch some fish, guys. That's all there is to it. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that first look. I hope... I hope you enjoyed that first look at Fishing North Atlantic. Yeah, I think this is a lot more robust than Fishing Bear at Sea. I liked Fishing Bear at Sea, but this, I like the ability to have different types of boats for different purposes, different, it's, it, other than just different sizes. And the harpoon fishing is just amazing. I really, that was fun. It's hard, <laughs> but it's fun. But anyway, guys. As I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.